Here we have some of our smaller countersunk rings. These are the R822CS-S. The dash S designation means that when mounted with a screw, the south pole of the magnet will face out. The R822CS is designed to accept a number 5 screw. It is impossible to tell the difference between the north and south magnets when they are side by side, so we use one of our electronic pole identifiers, or EPID, to tell them apart. As you can see, the north and south sides of the ring will attract just like any other magnet. The difference is that our countersunk magnets are designed to work together in pairs. Let's take a look at two different ways to use our countersunk rings. In the first example, we've mounted an R822CS-S to the door side of our little demo unit. On the frame side, we've used a galvanized nail to act as the strike plate on which the magnet will catch. Pretty simple. In the second example, we use a pair of the countersunk rings, one north on the frame and one south on the door. It's important to remember that when using this method, always make sure both of the rings are correctly aligned. Otherwise, when the door closes, it may be pushed out of alignment since the magnets will seek out each other's center point. This method is great for when you need more holding power. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this short explanation of countersunk rings informative. For more information, be sure to visit us at kjmagnetics.com, your source for the world's strongest magnets.